Merhaba arkadaşlar. Good day, Henry. Damn. So what have you learned? All sorts of things. There's some foreigner called Eric behind the counterfeiting ring, and someone highly hmm. placed at the monastery. Biliyoruz şimdi her şeyi yaptık ya geri. Really? That's what Yeshek claimed. It's worse than I thought. If this is true, we'll have to proceed with the utmost caution. Why? Can't we just go to the monastery to investigate? No. If the church is truly involved, I have no authority. So what will you do? I'll have to think about it. It won't be an easy nut to crack. I'll have to consult with Hanush. And what of this Eric? Who is he? I don't know, but he's recruiting armed men in Sasau and forming an army. So it looks like Pribislavitz wasn't the end of it. it. Most certainly wasn't, sir. And what's more, Sir Yezhek is convinced this Eric is only a go-between, and there's someone bigger behind him. You should return to Sasa and take a closer look at those recruiters. If they're going to attack, we must find out sooner than last time. It might not be as straightforward as that. So Yezhek didn't know them and has no idea how to find them. You have to manage somehow, my lad. Don't tell me there's an armed force of massive here and nobody knows anything. Go to Sasa and try to find them. I'm not sure where to start, sir. Then ask around the alehouses and inns, or at the Rad House. Someone must have heard something. These things can't be entirely kept in the dark. Whatever you do, be careful here. And best not mention my name. It would attract unwelcome attention. What we want is for the crimps to take you for just another village lad they can lure into their gang. All right, sir. I'll try to blend in as best I can. I know I'm asking a lot of you. But I know of no one else who can help as much as you can now. As you command, sir. Bu anlaşmayı söylemeyeceğiz abi. Kötü bir adam. Neden anlaşma için bunu anlatalım değil mi? Oo. Süre görev açılmış. Zaman bir A'ya gidelim biz. Yani burada ya ikisi. Yani biliyorsunuz biz hikaye tabanını oynuyoruz. Hani temizce o ilk ayı o yani oynayalım oynuyor bitirelim yani uğraşmadan fazla şimdi a neredeymiş maç muhafız maç muhafız have you been having some trouble around here? And what business is it of yours? Did someone complain? Who sent you here? No one complained. Though I'd be interested to know why you think they might. It was Lord Radzik who sent me. He'd heard word that some unsavory characters are holed up around here. Begging your pardon? But what the devil does Sir Radzik care about it? And I keep hearing the same from Sir Sebastian. 
And he's got no dog in this fight either. You have an inn and the horse trails cross here. There must be many travelers come seeking work and not all of them honest men. Aye, it's true. Bedlam has broken out once or twice and restoring order was no easy matter. Has there been anything like that lately? No. It's been quiet here lately. Now that I think about it, I don't recall coming across anyone here like that. Nobody looking for soldiering work? Maybe as a merchant's guard? There's always one or two like that. But if they don't get the job, they move on. Sir Sebastian? Who's that? Sebastian Baron von Berg. He's here under monastery law to protect us against all this unrest in the land. Why should he care about the city? That's not his jurisdiction, is it? Quite true. I'm in charge of this city, but he keeps telling me I've got cutthroats hiding around here and I should be more vigilant. The goal of the man. I heard some recruiters are meeting in Sassau. Seemed likely they'd get up to mischief and people might complain. Do you think that people here complain and I don't do my job? Nothing of the sort. Old Lederman's the only one that comes complaining, but I pay no heed to him. And what does this Lederman complain about? Lederman is our local tanner. Lives by the quarry, which is where, well, some youngsters go there to wrestle. They go there to fight and that doesn't bother you? Why would it bother me? Much better to brawl there than in the tavern. At least in the quarry, they can't damage anything but each other. And my catchpoles go by there from time to time to keep an eye on things. Hmm. Have you heard any talk of strangers in the town? Maybe people acting oddly? Nothing worth mentioning. Sure, there's been some talk about the miller. Folks saying they've been seeing him doing this or that, or people visiting him at night. But he's never done anything. He's a decent enough man for a miller. I'll try asking him if he's heard anything. He lives on the other side of the river, by the bogs. But don't go getting your hopes up. He might not be able to help. Thank you, baby. Yeah, much more. Who's boy? It's me already. Can't hear the video still. You. No, tamam. We're not going to talk about it. So, maybe. Much can get. Yeah, can hear them. Maybe we'll talk about. Where are we going? Tabakçı yine tabakçı. Doğru buradan böyle devam. Bu olması lazım. Merhaba, iyi günler. Tanrı. Seni rahatsız eden bir şey duydum. It's better now. I must have eaten something bad. No, I mean you complained about some ruffians raising hell behind your house. Yani bir şey mi diye. True enough. That lot's been a thorn in my side. And when I went to tell them to take it elsewhere, they nearly beat me to a pulp. When are they there? Nearly every evening. Every godforsaken evening. Shouting and bellowing there till nightfall. And then they leave. Probably to get drunk. How many of them are there? How would I know? They make as much noise as a herd of wild boar in rutting season. And did they all attack you? They... They knocked the mm. stuffing right out of me. Merak etme intikamını alırız. And nobody does the thing about it. I've been to the bailiff, but he couldn't 
give a rat's arse. There's no commotion under his window, so what does he get? That's quite a bail if you've got. A scarecrow would keep better order. If you want, I'll take care of them. Well, you look like you could move mountains, but there are several of them and I just know you. Perhaps we'll be able to settle things peacefully. Maybe. Bu oyunda mesela savaş çıkan odası biraz zor çünkü hani biliyorsunuz 2-3 kişi birden savaşıyoruz ya Neymiş bu durumu başarı yapmaya çalışıyor işte bu yüzden bazen de hani evde gerekiyor çünkü 2-3 kişiyle kapışıyorsun ne diyorsun Neyse de bakalım Sıra Haa dur dur dur bir daha alacağım bize bunu görevi verdi Aa nereden şu Akşam üstü yani Şurayı bir saklanayım bakalım Dur bakayım Aa. Akşam alalım abi saati Yardım edelim adama Hemen görevi hallettik zaten çoğunu He says you've been causing a commotion at night, and I thought I might convince you to stop. Ha! So all his whining finally found a friendly ear, did it? Let me tell you something first, Will. I'm the bailiff's man, and we're not doing anything wrong here. Old Letterman's only been whining like that since he lost a bit of silver. Didn't bother him before that. He told me different. Ha! Of course he did. Otherwise, no one would help him. Go ahead and ask the lads. They'll tell you the same. It's God's honest truth. I'll tell you what you're worth. But what should I do now? The way I see it, you've got two choices. Screw that old liar and leave him be or get down to business. What do you mean, get down to business? Well, you may think you're pretty tough. And if you give us all a thrashing, we might think it over. But then again, we're no strangers to a hard fight. If I break your arm, then you won't be coming here for a while, will you? But I'm a fair fellow, so I'll make you an offer. If you enter our tournament and win, which means beating us all, then we'll go elsewhere. If you don't win, then you're flat out of luck and have to leave. That's not so bad, is it? See you later. Hey! Greetings, good knight. How may I serve you? What Get happened with the tunnel? Nothing out of the ordinary. He came to test his metal like everyone, but he couldn't even get past young Wee. Then he started whining about getting his money back because we tricked him, so we threw him out. He came back a few times after that complaining about all the shouting, ordered us to bugger off elsewhere. But you didn't? No. And when he got really annoying, he got a punch in the mouth. He hasn't been back since. Doesn't dare to. But it didn't shut that big mouth of his. I heard that someone's looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about that? Willing to do anything? Meaning what? Something filthy like helping the knacker? I wouldn't know. Go and ask someone else. That's not what I meant, but all right. I'd be with you. Well, I'm going to wait before someone gets hurt. Weapon. 
You can't walk around here with it drawn. Good God, you look terrible. Did someone attack you? I've heard that someone's looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about it? If I knew you better, I might tell you. But as things stand... What went on with the tunnel? When things got lively, I wasn't here. The others were, though. Go ask them. God save. What can I do for you? I heard that someone was looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about that? No. But I'm always the last to hear of anything like that. I'll ask Punch. He'd know. What did I say? I heard you gave him quite a beating. It's his own damn fault. Really? He just came to tell you to go elsewhere. That's what he told you. Bollocks! He came of his own accord. It was him started the fuss. After he'd lost all his money. He really tried to have a go. I wouldn't think he'd have it in him. He tried, but he didn't have much luck. He does pack a punch. But landing it in the right place. Ha! I'm not surprised he's got no children. Evet, burada tabakçı yalan mı atıyor bize şimdi? Bodur. I'm looking for work, and I've heard someone around here wants fearless men. Do you know anything about it? Hmm. I've heard they might be looking for a new knacker. So if you're not afraid of carcasses and the occasional pile of shite... Thanks, but no thanks. Word has it someone's hiring mercenaries and other fighters. Ah, well you've heard more than I. If I wanted to join in, what would I have to do? It's pretty simple. First you have to beat Wheat. He's that not too dangerous looking fella there. But some nights, he gets a good rest and he's got God in his side. Then you can try one hmm, of those... Belki de it doesn't matter which. You whip all three. You can test your metal against me. Fair enough. So the last match is with you. That's right. They say a bout with me is no joke. Just bad humans. <laughs> I want to fight you. What did I tell you? First beat wheat and those three clowns. And then I'll have time for you. Got it? What are you doing here? Nothing special. Just a little evening wrestling. It's good for your back and digestion. And your purse too if you know your business. God be with you. Let's fight. Put a bit more effort into it, lad. I won't tussle with you till you put weed on his back. Till then, you're not worth my time. Let's fight. Put a bit more effort into it, lad. I won't tussle with you till you put weed. Let's do it. Let's go. Hmm, hadi bakalım. Yo! I want to fight you. What did I tell you? First beat wheat and those three clubs. Ah, tick tick, come on. Then I'll have time. Got it? God be with you. Let's fight. That wasn't bad. But now we'll take it up a notch. Get back on. Ah. 
Hadi Yeni nerede? Let's fight. That was bad. But let's see how you do this. Hadi bakalım. Göreceğiz hep böyle diyenler kaybediyor. God Bunlar bence suçludur ya. O kadar hep basan hep aynı yerde hepsi bir araya gelmiş toplanmış. Bilmiyorum. Ne oldu lan? Hadi konuşuyordun oğlum. Konuşuyordun ya. Let's fight. You look pretty good, but I'm betting it was just luck. We'll see. Dedettir. Let's fight. Back again. My tooth still loose from last time. Bir de akşam görmem lazım. Ya dövüş ringin içindeydi. Bulayım dedim hani belki dövüş sayılır gibisine. Let's do it. Last time you had your way, but today will be different. See you later. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good.
God save, what can I do for you? Hmm. Oh, God, what do you want to do when I walk through? I've heard that someone's looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about it? If I knew you better, I might tell you. But as things stand... Yes, sir. Should be able to get in my office. I was able to swim. Nasıl geçeceğiz abiyiz? Ha şurada. Gel çakal.
Çünkü adamı yanlış vurduk diye bir daha kaçınca akşam bir daha şey yaptı saat aldık. Sonra da diğer adamı göremedik. Görev yapamayacağız gibi ama genç isteği var dedi. Ana hikayeye göre hani ana hikaye iş diye sandım o görevi. Sanırım işlemeyecek. Kalır gibi yani iptal olur gibi o görev. Yani biliyorsunuz ben ana görev yapıyorum. Yani savaşmalarda zor olduğu için bazen healing kullanıyor insan. Yani mesela atıyorum 3-4 kişi kapışıyorsun kılıçla falan. Ama hani işte zor oluyor. Hidi başvuruyor insan yani. Hidi'ye başvuruyoruz. Bulaşınca ne yapacağız? Söyle değil mi hani? 3-4 kişi nasıl yeneceğiz? Neyse şuradan bakalım. Be. İyi az kalmış. Ne yapacağız bir daha? Vermeliyiz bana ara aracıları. Haa. Şöyle biraz zaman ile yeri alalım da. Selamlar. Listen, have you heard about anyone looking to recruit men around here or planning some kind of mischief? No. Come on. I know how it is with mobs. I've been friends with a few and they hear all the gossip. So go ask them. I doubt they're all the way here. Then it seems you're out of luck. Surely we can come to some arrangement. I don't much care this means. So What do I have to do to get in your good graces, Master Miller? Well, if I heard from those Miller friends of yours that you can be relied upon, and you're not a complete dope. Is there any work here for carpenters? Are they locals? From skeletons. Then no, I only take in people I know. I'd like you to teach me how to be better at stealth. Certainly. Well, I'll think it over. See you later. Sasoya gideceğiz ha, dur bakalım. Buradaki zorda soracağız, okey.
Müzik videoz yine ya. Gel çakım. Hadi bir çakar. Burası bir, burası bir, burası bir. Yani buralar fena. Allah Allah. Ya. Ya o zaman buralar değil. Şura mı? Ya diyeyim. Ah, bir yardım edelim abi. Hem aydın hem düşman anladı. Gel lan gel. Şerefsiz ha. Tüccarı darı öldürmüş lan. Yani.
выпрыгнем отсюда. deep here.
Surrender. You're under arrest for breaking the law. Come here, Lily Liver. <coughs> Good of a fix. Çok pardon arkadaşlar. Teslim olalım abi. Kanun seni Hadi dövüşelim artık. Güzel.
Fancy clothes. Let's fight. Again? I'm still sore all over from last time. Goodbye.
if you want, I'll take care of them. Well, you look like you could move mountains, but there are several of them and just one of you. Perhaps we'll be able to settle things peacefully. Maybe. They might think twice before kicking your ass. Mm, you've got a point. I can't do anything about them on my own. True enough. I'd think no less of you for it, lad. See you later. I've taken care of the lads who were bothering you. We'll have a quiet evening tonight. God bless you, lad. Mm. And here's something for your trouble and kindness. I'm like a miserable bailiff. If anything else grieves you, just say the word. Goodbye. Good <laughs> Welcome, Henry! Burayı gösteriyor ama
Greetings, good night. How may I serve you? Goodbye. God almighty, there's something happened to you. Did someone steal your fancy clothes? Şöyle bir şey yapsam. Biri geliyor. But no one in any tavern told you to come here anyway, did they? So let's have it. Who told you? I don't recall his name, but he was one of your friends. He said that he couldn't take me straight to you, that I had to go through the church. He was right about that. But he still said more than he should have. I know my way around. You won't go wrong with me. Spare me the boasting. I've got a test ready for you. Let's see how you handle it before you tell us how wonderful you are. What test? Nothing complicated. We used to take anyone who looked like they could keep their head on straight. But not now. Now you can only join if you do what we tell you. Which is what? Steal something? Nah, not theft. If you want to join us, you have to kill pies. Who's pious? And why should I kill him? That's none of your business. But I'll tell you anyway, because it's an instructive tale. Pius was one of us, but he fucked up. Oh, did he steal something? Yeah, that was part of it. Stole some money, ran away. A few boys died over him. Showed a distinct lack of loyalty. And as soon as he's dead, mm. he can join us. I have to find him first. <laughs> you don't need to find him. We know where he is. Then why haven't you killed him yourselves? It's quite a test. He's hiding in a monastery. With the stable boys? It's not hard to get into the grounds. <laughs> no, not there. Oh, he would have been dead long since. He's in the, uh, cloister. Or whatever it is. But only monks can get in there. <laughs> Just monks and pious. He's an educated bastard. Seems he used to be a priest. We didn't quite work out. How would I recognize pious? He won't have been there long. He should be the only new one there. But what if there are others? What does he look like? Normal. He always went about well dressed and had a fine looking dagger. Yes, except he'll be given a robe and they'll take his knife. Then you'll have to try and figure out which one of the novices it is, and get him to betray himself. Try getting him drunk, then send him straight to hell. Get him drunk? 
in a monastery. <laughs> Where better? There's more wine there than in the royal cellars. And I doubt he's suddenly stopped drinking. And how am I supposed to get into the cloister? Hey, you'll think of something. Maybe there's a secret passage. I've heard there's some cave underneath. The cave of Saint Procopius. There might be a way into it from outside. And do you have any other ideas besides secret passages? Well, there is this one fellow who been hanging around the taverns. Supposed to join the monastery soon. Might be he could help you somehow. I'd try talking to him if I were you. And if he doesn't help, knock him on his ass and take anything he's got that you could use to bash yourself off as him. A letter of admittance to the monastery, a while ago. Murder someone in a monastery? Have you gone mad? <laughs> Murder's a sin as it is. Doesn't really matter where you do it. Yes, it does. I'd be spilling blood on hallowed ground. <laughs> well then, knock him senseless, drag him outside, and finish him off where it's less sacred. I don't give a damn where you do it, just as long as he ends up dead. And do you have any other tests? We're not hiring stable boys. We want men who are prepared to do anything. And this is the toughest task we've got. So how many men have you already sent? And just a handful. And what happened to them? Did they hang? And just the first one. The others turned tail. Guess they didn't have the stomach for it. Fine. So I've got to kill Pius. He's in the cloister, and to get into the cloister, I'll need to enlist the help of some boy who's joining the order. Right? More or less. And now the main thing. The main thing is to kill him, isn't it? <laughs> of course. But that's not all. All hell's gonna break loose in the monastery after the murder. So, either make sure nobody finds him, or hightail it out of there quick as soon as the job's done. But better if they don't find him right away. And what else? Should I come back here afterwards? No, no. Before you run for it, take his special dice and bring it as proof that you killed him. And if you can get him to tell you where he hid the coin, bring that as well. Bring his dice and the money if I think. And where should I go? From the monastery, head east across the river. There'll be a swamp where you'll find a fire pit. Go there at night and light a fire. Make it nice and big and we'll show up. Take the dice and the money, and then tell you where to report. Got it? Right, I'm to slip into the best guarded place in the entire region and kill someone. Take his dice and money, and then go to the swamp and wait by the fire. Yeah, that's the idea. <sighs> well, you can at least say a few Hail Marys for me. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. <laughs> and remember, we'll be keeping tabs. So don't you try to win off, alright? See you later. Anahtar attı bize.
Henry's come to see you. Bu tuzağa düşmüyorum abi öyle değil mi? Where the hell were you brought up? Don't you know you have to have a light after dark? Greetings. What do you need? So, this investigation into the Neuhoff massacre. It's getting a bit complicated. What have you found out? I tracked down a gang of robbers who recruited killers for Privis Lovers. They know the Horsons who torched Neuhoff. That's excellent news. Did you find out any more? So far, not much. If I'm going to infiltrate them, I have to do what they say. That means murdering one of their former cronies, a fellow they call Pius. Apparently he was at Neuhoff too. You have to kill a criminal to prove yourself to them? Huh. I don't much like the sound of it. Okay, that's really not the worst of it. This Pius is hiding out in the monastery pretending to be a novice. I'd have to get inside the cloisters to get at him. <laughs> Good God above, that's another matter entirely. They don't let just anyone into the cloisters, and the abbot won't give up any of the novices. Secular law has no jurisdiction inside the monastery. But this is the second time that something untoward has happened there. First the counterfeiters, now this. I'd be glad to have someone take a look inside. What should I do with Pius once I find him? Don't kill him. Bring him to the bailiff in Rate. He'll interrogate the man and give him a bed. Mm. It doesn't sound like an easy task, so. Getting into the cloisters, finding Pius, and then getting into the bailiff. Far from it, lad. But I have confidence in your abilities. It seems like the only way to find Pius is to join the order. Damned if I know how, though. A bit of meditation and learning will do you good. If it's really the only way to get to him, then you'll have to do it. I'm sorry I can't be of much help. Sadly, my relations with the monastery aren't entirely congenial. You'll have to figure something out for yourself. Take care. Evet. Burada kalalım arkadaşlar. Görüşmek üzere. Hoşça kalın. Görevi de bakalım.